You've been asking for a long time, and we're trying to do it with this series which is just starting now, that we do not only deal with medium and large size dogs, but also introduce the small size breeds. Soon, from the middle and the end of March, our on-site shooting will be restarted, and we will try to reach as many small size dog breeders as possible. In this part, we begin with the smallest of the small dogs in the world, the Chihuahua. In the minutes that will follow, we'll find out whether these little ones actually evolved among the Aztec Indians, but we'll also go around to see if the reports of Chihuahua aggression are true. Chihuahuas, due to their dwarf size, have always attracted a lot of attention among dog lovers and their perceptions are quite divisive. Disputes about their origin are not uncommon, as the official description of the breed is that they originated in Mexico, but there are also theories that their ancestors may have come from Malta with Spanish conquistadors, while others suggest that the ancestors originated in China. The wildest theory we've heard so far is that they're not actually dogs, they're descendants of an extinct species of chipmunks. The most likely theory is that a dog type, named the Tachichi, who were kept by the Toltec tribe living in what is now Mexico may have been the real ancestors, which were kept partly as companion pets and partly as sacrificial dogs. When the Aztecs conquered the Toltec territories, the status of these puppies was further strengthened and incorporated into the religious beliefs of that time, since the inhabitants believed that the souls of the deceased would be transferred to the afterlife by the Chihuahuas. To make sure this happened, the dogs of the deceased owners were often killed and the dogs were placed in the grave next to their owners, which is enthroned by many contemporary archaeological findings. According to historians, it is quite likely that in the Aztec courts of the nobles, chihuahua-like dogs were kept in tens, or hundreds, which were of such value that they also served as a valuable exchange fund in the trade of that time. In the modern era, Chihuahuas became increasingly popular in America from the 1880s. The official recognition of the breed by AKC finally took place in 1904. Chihuahuas spread from there and became popular all over the world. The name Chihuahua is the name of the Mexican territory from which these dogs seems to have originated. Chihuahuas are known to be the smallest dog breed in the world. The weight typically ranges from 3 to 6 pounds, Individuals of a size of more than 6 pounds are usually excluded from breeding. At the same time, the further breeding of smaller ones is allowed. In the 1950s, they developed two types, the long-haired version, on which the hair is wavy and the ears and tail are tasseled, as well as the short-haired version, the short and solid hair of which adheres to the body. Perhaps the most important question about chihuahuas is the character of this small dog and whether the allegations and news about chihuahua aggression are true. Almost everyone has seen a video of a chihuahua growling on something, many times towards their owners. The question arises, therefore, to what extent this can be considered common in relation to chihuahuas, and for this behavior, whether it is the character of the chihuahua or the incompetence of the owner is responsible. Well, to answer this question, we should consider the following. First of all, the very small size of the dog can be deceptive, since chihuahuas have extremely strong territorial instincts, they usually do not tolerate either a foreign person or a foreign object in their own territory, especially not in their own narrow environment, like around their beds, or around their bowls. Secondly, in the life of chihuahuas there is usually only one real love, the owner of their choice, strangers, but in many cases even family members are not really liked and tolerated by them. In addition, for most of them, puppy socialization often missed out, as enthusiastic owners do not really carry their fragile puppy chihuahuas to the company of other dogs, or other people, so the mistrustfulness of their character is not resolved, but further strengthened. Since chihuahuas, with respect to the exceptions, are not usually allowed among other dogs in adulthood, this mistrust can stably develop into aggression. Thirdly, few people know, but chihuahuas are a rather dominant breed and these dogs usually have a huge ego and will. Unfortunately, due to the small size, this aspect is usually forgotten, since the vast majority of owners do not deal with them at all as they should, since in many cases almost everything is allowed to do for them. In many cases there are limits and prohibitions, 
because chihuahuas are, in quotes, cute and tiny, what harm can they do to others at all? This approach can lead to cases like what have occurred in our close surroundings, where the owner's chihuahua pierced a family member's nose with a bite when he lifted the dog off the ground, which the dog did not like. An old observation on our part is that since chihuahuas spend most of their lives between the four walls of an apartment or a house, they usually don't like changes, and they can react aggressively to changes in their environment, such as a moving to a new home. They usually prefer stability and permanence, preferably in their familiar environment. This can be one of the reasons why chihuahuas are not recommended to live with together with small children, as the arrival of a newly born kid can be an unusual and shocking event for a dog like this. So in summary, are chihuahuas aggressive at all, and if so, then why? In our opinion, the appropriate answer to this question is this, Chihuahuas are by nature no more aggressive than any other dog breeds with dominant, strong and territorial protection instinct. The reason why they seem or become aggressive is usually the consequence of the attitude of the owners of these dogs. Due to their small, fragile and cute stature, chihuahuas are usually completely excluded from socialization, as well as from even minimal required training, and the precise laying down and acceptance of boundaries with the dog during their upbringing. A puppy with a distorted personality in this way, who has usually become the terror master of the neighbors and the guests, further reinforces the still negative stereotypes.